always had my doubters and haters, but all they did was <laughs> push me to do better. <laughs> Yo, dang. Superstar. Hey, you know, I don't know how true it is, but this is just coming from me. Uh, the, the story I heard how he made Lil Earl run cross country. Now, when I found that out, to me, I'm just, you know, just thinking as a, a thinker myself, or I think that I am, and in any event, that that creates a, a, a that creates a, a endurance factor, you know what I'm saying, to make somebody run cross country. That gives this guy like your wind capacity, your lung capacity. That was just some ahead of the game type of thinking. The whole idea of cross country is conditioning. And you know, it's distance running, it's basically a mile and a half to a two mile race. And uh, we had a track program here at St. Delbert, and uh, we still do. And I needed him to do that to work on his conditioning because I learned early on that once you run cross country and it's right before basketball season, you'll never get tired playing basketball. I started running cross country when I was 10 years old in 86. I uh, went to St. Adelbert Elementary School. We had a cross country team and I started running cross country in fifth grade and I ran cross country from fifth until twelfth grade. And the reason that I ran at first was because my dad made me run. <laughs> and so, I'm gonna tell you what, when I see a small man really excel this game, his mental toughness is off the chart. I mean, he'll blow a big guy away. And so, his, his, uh, his ability to stay dialed in is, <laughs> it's actually phenomenal when you actually see it. A guy that comes out and has some success playing a, a in a smaller body and against a bigger man's game, oh, that's a that's a real killer, it's an assassin, really, it really is. I'm from the city where it's greedy, only hate and crime, and work hard to reach your goals, cause all it takes is time. And if I told you what it took, I bet it blow your mind.